Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Keith, and this is the Yellow Springs Vintage Audio YouTube channel. Uh, today we are continuing our uh, repair and alignment of a Tascam 122 cassette deck. I'm just going to give you a little up to date on uh, what we've done since we did part three. Um, if if you remember and part three we had uh, found a bad cable uh, that ran from the playback head to the circuit card this was the cable it was open I uh, and uh, I tried to fix it and I couldn't uh, I couldn't repair the cable so I had to replace it and I uh, couldn't find the exact cable so um, what I ended up doing was replacing both the left and the right channel playback cables. Uh, and you, these are the new cables. Uh, you can see that they are uh, thicker and stiffer than the old cables, but I did manage to fit them in there and uh, they are securely attached to the tape transport system and there's enough slack so that the head can move up and down without any problem at all. Um, so that's um, the big repair. And you, the music you heard um, then the opening screen was, in fact, being played off this cassette deck. So it, uh, it does sound good. Um, the, uh, the, let's look at it a little bit. And I will put the music back on. Uh, now you can you can see that uh, the needles are moving, um, but this, the um, the needles are moving, but there's no lights in the meter, so that's a problem that's got to get fixed. Uh, but I'm, I'll wait and do that uh, when I'm done with everything else because I'll have to take this, the uh, face off and um, the light bulbs in here uh, are just gone. Uh, the deck is 40 years old so it's not reasonable to expect the light bulbs to last that long. Especially since it's a professional deck and it was probably just left on all the time. So the light bulb just burned out and since they are actually physically in the meter, uh, what I will probably do is put some LEDs on the outside up underneath the meter uh, that will shine up so you can see the, the needles move better. Um, these meters both have a little peak LED uh, light and those lights do work. Um, it's just the... the incandescent bulb, the little tiny incandescent bulb that was designed to light the meter that is bad. So the, uh, the next step from here is to check all the mechanical alignment, uh, make sure that the motor is turning at the correct speed um, and that it's not fluctuating either uh, rapid fluctuations or long-term fluctuations um, called wow and flutter. Um, and uh, make sure that everything is engaging properly, that the head is moving up against the tape correctly, that the pinch roll is pushing the tape uh, against the cap stand and is moving the tape along. Also that in the, the fast forward mode and the, the rewind mode that the, uh, the reel spin at the correct amount of torque, not too, not too much, not too little. Um, to make sure you don't want to stretch the tape, you don't want to break the tape, but you also want to, to move enough to be able to pull the tape through the cassette uh, mechanism. Uh, all those things checked out. So the next thing that we have to do is uh, align the head and uh, we will cover that in the next video. Um, and um, thank you and we'll just uh, um, well, a little, a, a little um, thing to think about uh, as we 
are getting ready to actually do the alignment, is it reasonable for a 40-year-old uh, piece of equipment to, to meet uh, all the exact spec specifications of a brand new unit when it was made? Um, think about that and we'll talk about it in the next uh, video. Um, is it realistic or is it not realistic to expect this unit to be able to be adjusted to, to exactly match all the specs that uh, it had when it first came out of the factory 40 years ago. So anyway, uh, thank you and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And if this is the type of content you like, then hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell to be reminded when there's a uh, new video and thank you and remember um, the best way to keep your vintage audio equipment working is to use it regularly